Welcome to our lesson on break-even analysis. Here we'll learn about how to construct and interpret a break-even chart, as well as the strengths and weaknesses of break-even analysis. Let's dive in. You can calculate the break-even point of a business by creating a graph showing how costs change according to the output level. To create a break-even chart, you need to follow these steps. Draw a chart with the horizontal axis showing the business output in units and the vertical axis showing the revenue. Draw the fixed costs as a horizontal line at the level we've identified them to be. Draw the variable costs as a line starting at the same height as the fixed costs and rising diagonally according to the variable costs per unit we've identified. This plotted line then becomes the total costs line. Finally, draw the revenue line starting at zero on both axes and rising diagonally according to our sales price per unit. It's important to be able to look at a break-even chart and be able to interpret it, such as identifying where the break-even point is. Where the total costs line and revenue line cross, you have the break-even point. Anything above the break-even point is profit, while anything below is a loss. We can actually identify the break-even point in both units sold or by money earned, depending on which axis we look along. Here our break-even point in units would be 2,858, and our break-even point in money earned is 40,000 pounds. You can also see that we have shaded in two areas, the area of loss and area of profit. This shows the range of units sold or revenue earned where we will be making a loss or profit. It's also possible to mark the margin of safety on the chart. This is usually represented with lines drawn at the break-even point and at the actual units sold and or money earned. This makes it easy to see how large the margin of safety is. Break-even analysis is a really important tool that has many benefits when used correctly. However, it does have limitations to its use. Some benefits of break-even analysis include it can help businesses identify expenses they may have previously overlooked. Also, it clearly identifies what the business's projected revenue will be in terms of profit margin. This can help to set clear goals. Finally, it allows businesses to make better decisions on things like expansion, new contracts, and to set prices that account for irrecoverable costs. Some limitations of break-even analysis include the analysis assumes that product selling prices remain constant and doesn't consider potential discounts or price fluctuations. It also assumes that costs remain static, not taking into account possible savings, such as from bulk discounts as we grow. Additionally, the analysis does not factor in unsold products or wastage, presuming everything produced will be sold. Finally, determining the break-even point becomes complex when a business offers multiple product types. In conclusion, to create a break-even chart, draw fixed costs with a horizontal line at their identified level, variable costs starting from the fixed costs height and rising diagonally based on variable costs per unit to form the total costs line, and the revenue line beginning at the origin and ascending diagonally based on the sales price per unit. Where the total costs line and revenue line cross, you have the break-even point. Anything above the break-even point is profit while anything below is a loss. It's also possible to mark the margin of safety on the chart. Break-even analysis can help identify expenses, helps to set revenue targets and allows the business to make wise decisions. However, it has unrealistic expectations of sale price and costs, assumes we sell everything we produce and only works where we sell a single product.